that's why you need to create employee onboarding videos for your company. It is gonna save your business time, money, and resources. There is no need to book a boardroom and have your already busy HR team give a slideshow followed by a very dull lecture. Now, through video onboarding, you can keep your employees entertained and engaged. Studies have consistently shown that 95% of employees are more likely to retain information that they see on video, which is why in this video, we're gonna create an employee onboarding video and I'll share with you not one, but two of my secret time and money saving hacks for creating any employee onboarding video with zero editing experience. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have created an onboarding video that looks like this. To get this end result, we will cover the following topics. My tips for creating an employee onboarding script, how to film your video using my first hack, how to edit it using my second hack, and how to download and share your onboarding video with your employees. Now we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Here are my top tips for creating your employee onboarding script. When writing the script, write it how you would say it. Be genuine. You want your employee to get a sense of the company and the culture. So if it is a relaxed creative office, you're gonna give your script that vibe. Provide value. Think of what you wish you had known on your very first day at the company. So this could be, where do I pick up my tech and stationery? What is the dress code? How do I book vacation days? And what are the company hours? Buddy system. So if your company has a buddy system where a new employee will be paired up with a much more experienced employee, be sure to include them in the script. Give a little information on that person. They can even introduce themselves on camera. They can say their name, department, job title, and interests. This is just so that that new employee feels supported and welcome, and they already know a friendly face on their first day. You're gonna keep your script short. Now this isn't a training video, this is an onboarding video, so it should be a very short welcoming video with basic knowledge to allow your employee to begin their first week with ease. If you do wanna learn how to make a training video, I will pop my video on screen for that now. Now we can move on to filming our video. For this, we will need good lighting and if you don't have a ring light or softbox lights just stand in front of your window. We will need clear audio. Now if you have a microphone or lav mic use it but if not make sure that your windows and doors are shut to block out any noise and film in a room with a rug and furniture as all these things are going to absorb noisy sound and it'll help your audio sound crisp. Now if you're going to be doing a voiceover for your video film it under your duvet for the best sound quality. Next we need a camera and if you don't have a camera just use your phone or if you prefer you can use Veed's built-in screen recorder. Now if you are going to be recording this on your camera or phone, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter. This is my first time and money saving hack because Veed is a one stop shop for filming and editing your onboarding video. You can record yourself or you can record yourself next to your website or next to a slideshow at the same time. It also has a built in teleprompter, so no need to memorize lines. And not only that, you can film each scene in sections and then Veed automatically compiles it into one video at the end. Let me show you how to use Veed's recorder and I'll pop a link down in the description. Simply hit record, choose your layout. You could choose to record just yourself or yourself alongside your website or even next to a slideshow. So go ahead and choose the one that's best for your first video. For the first part of the onboarding video, I wanna just record myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that option and then I'll set up our teleprompter. We can paste our script in here and then I can adjust the settings by changing the speed at which it appears on screen. I can also change the color of the text, the size of the text, and I can make the background light or dark. Now we can go ahead and press record. We'll have a three second countdown and the recording will begin. You can then hit the play button on the teleprompter and once you're finished, hit stop. You'll then be taken to this page where you can click new scene to record the next segment. So down the bottom of your video, you'll see the option to record yourself with your screen or slides. Click whichever one works for you. I'm gonna share my screen and then we need to choose if we wanna share the entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab. Select the one you want, and then once it's loaded, you can customize the layout by clicking on themes. You can test these out, or you can choose background and choose an ombre color. You can look up a photo, choose a solid block color, or you can even import your own company branding. It is entirely up to you, so once you're happy with how it looks, just repeat the same steps as before to set up your teleprompter and hit record. Now, once you're finished recording that segment, hit stop, and if you need to add more scenes to your video, just keep going, but once you've finished, click add to project. We'll now edit our training video. The first thing that we can do is trim the footage. So if you've made any mistakes, we can remove them now. You're just gonna play the video, then you're gonna pause it at the start of the mistake, then highlight all the layers and click split. And now just play the video again, pause it at the end of the mistake, 
highlight all the layers and click split. And then you're just gonna right click on the portion that you wanna remove and hit delete. And you can hover your mouse now between the two clips and you're just gonna click on the bin to close the gap. Now let's add some text because I wanna add an introduction title. So I'm just gonna put my playhead to the point that I want my title to appear. And then I'm gonna click text in the toolbar. And then in here we have some animated templates. So I'm gonna choose one of those. And then I'm just gonna play it for a second so we can see how that looks. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna click on the text on the screen and it's gonna open up a left-hand panel here where we can delete the text that's there and we can type in whatever we want it to say. Lovely, and then we can also change the font, we can change the size, the color, and you're just gonna repeat the same thing again for the other pieces of text. And another thing we can do to style our video is we can change the video shape on the parts where we shared our screen. So to do that, you're just gonna click on your face recording and where you see here, it says round corners, you're gonna turn that all the way up to 100 and that's gonna make it more circular. And the next thing we're gonna add is subtitles so that our employees can easily follow along with the onboarding video. So to do that, you're just gonna click subtitles in the left toolbar, choose auto subtitle, pick your language and click create subtitles. Now that's gonna work away and that's gonna magically transcribe all of that audio so you don't have to. And then once it's finished, you're just gonna watch it all the way through just to make sure it hasn't misheard or misinterpreted any of the words that you've said. And if that has happened, it is a very simple fix. All you're gonna do is click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and type out the correct word. Now, once all of our mistakes have been corrected, we can click on the Styles tab, and then you can choose from any of the pre-made animated templates you see, or we can customize our own by choosing our own font, size, text color, effect color, we can add an animation, and we can add an effect. And the last thing I wanna add is background music. So to do that, you're just gonna make sure your playhead is at the very beginning of the video, and then click audio in the toolbar. Now next to stock audio, click search, and in here it's all filtered by genre, so you take your time, find the one that's right for you and your onboarding video. And then once you have it, you're just gonna select it, and then if it's longer than your video, all you're gonna do is push it over in the timeline so it ends in sync with the video. Now click on it, and we're just gonna turn the audio down to under 10%. And if you like, you can turn on the fade in and fade out for your music. Now that's ready, we can export our employee onboarding video. So feel free to skip the next chapter. It's not gonna be relevant to you. You can go ahead and skip forward to this timestamp. So you filmed your video on your camera or your iPhone. This is where my time-saving hack comes into play because we're gonna be using these built-in templates and all you have to do is click the very first link down in the description to get started. So now we're in Veed, we're just going to click Use Template and then in the search bar here, you're gonna type in Onboarding. And now you'll see we've got several different templates that we can choose from and you can narrow your search down by selecting your video size. So just click the drop-down box here and choose your format. And then I'm gonna select one of these options just click on it and then click start editing. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to switch out that stock footage for our own video. So it's very simple. You're just gonna click on the video on screen and then in the left hand panel here, you'll see that there's an option to replace video. Click on that and now click upload a file and choose your recording. Just give that a moment here to upload. And now once it's loaded, you can make your video bigger or smaller by pulling on the corners and the sides. Now, if I play that back, I'm Lauren, and let me be the first to welcome you to You'll hear the background music is really loud, so we need to change that. We're just gonna head to our timeline and you're gonna use this side toggle here to move down to the very last layer. Then you're just gonna click on the audio track and turn that volume down to under 10%. And now you can see that the music layer isn't as long as my video, so I'm gonna need to pull it over in the timeline so that it ends in sync with my video. And I'll have to do the same with the remaining layers. You'll see here that there's shape layers above and below my video and they need to come over too. So I'm just gonna highlight them and then pull them over to the very end of my video. Okay, so the next thing we need to change is the text. So to do this, we're just gonna pause our video at the very first text that appears on screen. Perfect, now you're just gonna click on the text itself and then that's gonna open up the text panel. So you can just delete that text that's currently in there and type in whatever it is that you want it to say. And then once you've done that, you can also change the size of it so that it fits just how you like it. And now you're just gonna repeat this for all the remaining text on screen. And then once you've done that, we can scroll down the timeline to see the text layers. I'm just gonna make it bigger here so that you can see it more clearly. And then you can decide if you wanna shorten or extend the duration of time that text stays on screen. So let's say that you want it to stay on screen longer. You're just gonna highlight those layers and then you can pull them over in the timeline. Now, if we do decide to extend them, we're gonna have an over lap issue here because we have these layers above it that are going to pop up at the same time. So to avoid this, we're just going to scroll up, we're going to highlight these layers and we're going to move them further over in the timeline. Now you can play the video again and just pause it when the next piece of text appears on screen. 
and then just the same as before you're going to click on each one and just change what it says and then once you've done that we're going to head back to the timeline and just like before you can decide to extend the duration of your text on screen and then don't forget to move the layers above it over again just so that there's no overlap now let's say that you want to add your own piece of text to your video it's very simple to do you're just going to put your playhead to the point that you want it to appear and then you're going to click text in the toolbar and in here we've got some animated templates so i'm going to go for one of those i'm going to play it for a second here so we can see how it looks perfect i need to move it over so i'm just going to select each one and drag it over perfect now just click on the text on screen and again left hand panel is going to open up you can delete the text that's currently in there and type out what we want it to say and again you can change the font size color etc and you're just going to repeat the same thing for the other pieces of text now the last thing that i'm going to show you how to do is to add more videos so let's say that you've mentioned the office layout we can now insert that clip all you're going to do is click add media above the timeline click upload file and choose your office clip that's going to take a moment to load once it's finished it's going to appear at the very end of your video so you're going to have to drag and drop it over your video layer to the point that you want it to appear on screen now you'll see a blue line between the layers and then just drop it in there now you may need to resize your clip so that it fits on screen you can just push and pull on those corner and side toggles now the last thing i want to do is on the very very final piece of the video i want to remove these two white boxes so i'm just going to right click on it and hit delete and i'm just going to do the exact same for the other one and now that's all done we can export our video click export in the top right hand corner choose your render settings and then click export video now you're going to give it a moment here to render and then you can watch it all the way through just to make sure you're happy and then click download and download mp4 you can also send the video link directly to employees by typing in their email or you can copy the link and share it that way there is also the option to embed it on your website which is perfect if you have an internal hr site to track onboarding and if your employees have any questions at all they can open up the chat tab type in a question and add a timestamp which then allows you to click on the timestamp so you can see what they're referring to and you can answer the question directly on veed it is a very helpful tool while onboarding employees and that's it that's how to make employee onboarding videos i really hope you found this video helpful and i will see you in the next one bye